Mishle, Proverbs 21. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahuwah as the rivers of water. He turns it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but Yahuwah ponders the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to Yahuwah than sacrifice. A high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them because they refuse to do judgment. The way of man is froward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. And when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous man wisely considers the house of the wicked. But Elohim overthrows the wicked for their wickedness. Whoso stops his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. A gift in secret pacifies anger, and a reward in the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the assembly of the Raphaim. He that loves pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loves wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with with a contentious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spends it up. He that follows after righteousness and mercy finds life, righteousness, and honor. A wise man scales the city of the mighty and casts down the strength of the confidence thereof. Whoso guards his mouth and his tongue guards his soul from troubles. Proud and haughty scorner is his name, who deals in proud wrath. The desire of the slothful kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. He covets greedily all the day long, but the righteous gives and spares not. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. How much more when he brings it with a wicked mind? A false witness shall perish, but the man that hears speaks constantly. A wicked man hardens his face, but, as for the upright, he directs his way. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against Yahuwah. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of Yahuwah.